des Präsidentschaftskandidaten Norbert Hofer. You're looking at the friendly face of far right politics. A well tailored Austrian called Norbert Hofer, who sells anti immigrant policies with a smile. He certainly struck a chord with an increasingly polarized electorate. After the warm-up act, Mr. Hoffer told a packed hall in Vienna the time had come to put ordinary Austrians first. Austrian men and women have a strong will to succeed, to make this country a success. The old dust has to be shaken off, and then we will be proud to be Austrian again. His campaign for president is calculated and effective, exploiting fears of mass immigration. It would be better, he says, if they simply stayed at home. These people aren't working. So I say, give these asylum seekers the skills so they can rebuild in their own countries. Now that would be a meaningful task. He's in a really tight race with his Green Party opponent. But Hoffer is riding the anti-establishment wave. It's a worldwide phenomenon, that, and it's clearly energized his party. And post-Brexit, there are many in Brussels and beyond who are worried about Norbert Hoffer. Mr. Hoffer, should Europe fear you? No. no. Why is that? Because I'm a pretty normal guy. I, I have to say I'm not far right. This the second time Mr. Hoffer and his rival from the Green Party, Alexander van der Bellen, have fought for the presidency. An earlier poll, won by van der Bellen, was cancelled after voting irregularities. And it is immigration that has dominated the national debate. Here, a group of self-described alt-right activists hang a veil on the statue of a former empress. A protest at the mass Islamization of Austria, they say. Last year, it accepted 90,000 asylum seekers. You look pretty hip, but I think a lot of people would say that what you're doing is, is basically racist. Um, I think that's a huge problem for society, that all the people, especially my young generation, only had um, the, the alternative between multiculturalism and uh, neo-Nazism. And every right-wing politician is criticizing immigration is literally Hitler. And we are fed up with this. We are no racists, we are no anti-Semites or neo-Nazis. We just want to preserve our own ethno-cultural identity. Mr. van der Bellen also made his final plea. An economics professor, he is the establishment and the celebrity's choice. Two good reasons, then, to fear the result. You don't need to demolish the house just because a couple of windows have become loose. Even if the roof has started to leak, the foundations are solid. We won't solve these problems with radicalism or extremism, only with reason. May I appeal to that? At the Christmas market, we found Austrians battling the political chill. Many here in cosmopolitan Vienna worry about a far-right president. Many countries have the right-left problem right now, and we're one of them. So, yeah, I think it's going to be a really interesting Sunday for all of us. <laughs> Their country stands at the crossroads, and where Austria goes, others may follow. John Sparks, Sky News in Vienna.